So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. Okay. guys if you don't already know I have my own business it's an accessory shop we sell bracelets necklaces um, I have some headbands on sale I have some um, anklets on sale and we will be expanding very very soon but lately I have been dropping some new looks so y'all get into it also, if you're interested in like any custom orders, um, let me know. I, I don't want to put it on my site because I don't want you to pay and then I'm not able to get the supplies that you need to achieve the look. So that is why it's on a need basis right now. But today I will be fulfilling a custom order for you guys. Um, I have done this for a previous look that I will put right here. Um... Those were for breast cancer awareness, of course. But here is the products that we'll be making today. Let me see if I can get it nice on camera. So, hold up. So it's just a purple, like, it's a purple, like different shades of purple with a little bit of white. And it has the purple awareness ribbon. And it also, I've also made one as an adjustable bracelet and um, with the same charms. So yeah, aren't they cute? So uh, along the way of me making these bracelets, I will be giving tips and tricks about what I've learned along the way. It is going to be more of a voiceover, so I know I'm going to miss my beautiful face. But I'll be back at the end of the video and let's just get right into it. Also, wait, 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 wait. Before we even start, y'all go follow my business page on Instagram at DK Collection LLC. Of course, I'm going to keep everything on the screen. You can go ahead and check out my website if you're interested in anything or if you just want to be nosy and see what I got because you might see something on there that you like. I'm just saying. But yeah, y'all enjoy. All right. So I'm going to show you guys the supplies that I'm using. So, of course, I have scissors. I have the charms that I just showed you guys. They're about quarter size, super duper cute. I also have three split rings that I'll be using. I think this is about six millimeters or four millimeters. I also have Stretch Magic, which is the best elastic string to use. And I got these beautiful beads from Michaels. I think they were about $7.99 a combo pack and I also have a split ring plier which is a must and I have a regular set of pliers that I just stole out of my dad's toolbox okay so I have an adjustable bracelet that we are going to use and first I'm going to open up the split ring with my split ring pliers y'all this is something you have to practice with because I'm not even gonna cap I used to struggle, okay, and my fingers just do hurt. And y'all, y'all gonna continuously see me struggle to pick up the charm. It's like picking up a quarter with nails, y'all. But yeah, I just stick it right on there, and then I use my other pliers to just go ahead and rotate it around where I had opened it at so that it is secure and it's not going anywhere. Um, I use split rings because I just feel like jump rings are not sturdy enough to hold such big charms so i just go ahead and use split rings just in case so it's no the charms falling off and they losing um or anything like that and i'm gonna do the same thing to the next one but instead of me putting it um just on the charm I'm gonna put one on the charm and I'm gonna put one attached to the split ring as well so that I can put the string through the second split ring. So 
so yeah as you can see me doing this right here this can be a little trickly a little tricky so just take your time we're in no rush honey y'all i was messing up i'm just gonna show y'all the raw details because i'm gonna have to get hard out here and usually i don't have this much issue with my nails y'all because i usually don't work where i'm working at right now but y'all can see i'm finessing i'm picking up the split rings with my fingertips and I, I was struggling with the charms and y'all gonna see me struggling again but yeah i get them split rings on there girl period so yeah so now we have you know the split ring on the charm and the split ring connected so i'm gonna go ahead and get started on um these beads i'm just gonna take them all out so i can decide like what design i want to go for so guys if you're interested in doing some custom orders i definitely recommend going to michael's to get a small order of beads so you aren't wasting inventory and you're using just enough you need for their order and to all my bracelet designers out there can we all relate that there are beads in places that you never thought there would be beads at? I drop beads all the time. So I decided to go ahead and start on the adjustable bracelet first. I just open up the little loop on the side just a little bit with my small pliers that I forgot to show y'all. And then I put the charm on there facing backwards toward me. So then when I flip it, it's front ways. Super duper easy, super duper cute. We love to see it. And I just use my bigger pliers because it has a bigger um, surface area and I just clamp it back close and nobody will ever know. Bam, boom, bop, bada bop, boom, pow. Okay, so next we'll start working on our beaded bracelet. So I'm gonna use my Alexis string and I always put the charm on first. Putting it through the top split ring so as you can see it hangs a little bit and that's exactly what we're going for a little bit of dangle so because I have three different colors y'all I'm just deciding what combo can I incorporate all three of the colors and all three of the different sizes as well. And y'all, I'm not even going to lie on camera. I was struggling to decide what combination I wanted to do. I was going back and forth contemplating what would be best, what would fit the best. And y'all, honestly, it's just trial and error. And that's why I'm just sitting here looking like a bump on a log because I don't know what I want to do. Um, I wanted to make sure the lighting was good on this, so um, let me know if y'all like these voiceovers because I can do more because it's so easy to record and not have to talk and just focus on my craft and that's exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to go ahead and summarize what I decided to do. So this design that I decided to do was exchange the colors every other, do two of the medium size one and one of the small one and one of the big one. And then continuously doing that until the colors um, wrap around at least like four times with the changing of colors. With all beaded bracelets, I try to use at least 22 to 24 beads based on the size of the beads I think these go up to a 10 millimeter but because I only use like four or five of them I can consider this bracelet as a six millimeter bead bracelet so I used about 24 beads making sure the pattern was consistent from the beginning to the end going back to the charm 
And yeah, y'all, make sure y'all stretch y'all string before you go tying because it will start to have wear and tear and that's how braces get loose over time. So pre-stretch your string, y'all, pre-stretch. Also, I do one loop. I do a double loop. So I go wrap around twice in one loop, tie it again. Then I try to tie it at least two more times. Y'all, I don't play about tying these knots, okay? Because I don't want nobody coming back to my, oh, my bracelet came apart, this, this, that. No, none of that. So I don't play about tying it. I will put about three different loops or knots, whatever you want to call it, until it's right. Because I'm not playing. People paying good money for these products. Making sure that it's right and tight. I'm sorry it's kind of hard for y'all to see um, with my nails and my hands and everything. But usually when I'm pulling tight, I try to pull on the longer end more than the shorter end. Because I want to preserve as much string as I can. Because y'all, y'all gonna find out these supplies ain't cheap. Okay, they last, but they cheap. they're not cheap. And I also pull the bracelet apart as well. Just to see, like, because people are gonna be putting it on and off. So I wanna make sure that they're not, it's tight. It's not going nowhere. Now I don't go pulling it, trying to deliberately pulling it apart to see if it'll break. I don't do anything like that. But it's a way of tightening the knot as well by pulling against the knot. So that's what I do. I'm going out the frame because I'm getting it right, honey. I'm getting it right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both of the strings together. And I'm going to pull the knot out of the loop. And I'm going to make sure I can cut as close to the knot as I can so that we're not wasting no string and we don't have raggedy ends. We want a very, very small neat knot you can barely see the knot across my finger but you want a small neat knot that can hide behind that split ring i hate to see knots so i always either use a spacer bead or a split ring or something to cover up the knot you want to give seamless like you bought it from the store because you did you bought it from my store Y'all, as y'all can see, I'll be watching YouTube and doing other stuff while I'm, you know, in my creative zone. And boom, we got the finished products. This color combo is so cute, honestly. And I'm pretty sure she's going to love her products. Yes, child. So, yeah, we have our two bracelets done and ready to go and if y'all have any charms that y'all have that y'all interested in i could do the same combo for you okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you're not subscribed to my channel i don't know what you're doing sis but i know you want to see more of me i want to give a huge shout out to lynn for actually asking for this custom order and she has also ordered other things from me like multiple times she's a reoccurring customer and i'm just really really appreciative she's been supporting black owned businesses for a while now and yeah i just want to let her know that i see her and i support her like she support me also y'all putting out post notifications because YouTube will not notify you when I post. I will be uploading weekly, whether it's Friday or Saturday. I haven't gotten the swing of things yet, but either Friday or Saturday, I will upload a video every single week. Comment down below if you have any specific ideas that you would like to see from me, because we can make something shake, honey. Without further ado, I will see you guys in the next one. Do sis.